Okay, this is just a quick demo of the CFFA 3000 that I just added to my Apple IIe. It's an interface card that is basically a IDE controller for the Apple II. It has a USB interface on it and a compact flash reader on it, and it can do hard drive emulation with a hard disk image on one of the flash cards, and it actually can do floppy disk uh, emulation. It can emulate uh, floppy images can be used DSK images, that sort of thing, and switched out through a menuing system or through a handy little remote. Uh, there is a two-button remote that hangs off of the the um, off the card with a ribbon cable, and I have chosen to enclose it in uh, pixel blocks. I've used pixel blocks for a couple of uh, little circuit board projects, but at any rate, let's take a look. So basically, you boot up your Apple. Um, this is kind of a crude video. I'm just going to hold the camera here while I do it. Uh, so we boot, and then we press M. Press M soon after booting, and you get this menu. Uh, basically, you can set up a few different options. I'm using it only for the SD card, uh, or rather for the, the disk image emulation, so that I don't have to use floppies. I've got uh, a couple of disk two drives. I actually also have a duo disk here as a monitor stand. These are not actually hooked up. But um, anyway, the floppies are, are getting a little bit old and hard to deal with, hard to source. So uh, I just wanted to use disk images uh, instead of floppies. Let me click Disk to Assignments, and it will show you uh, disk images that are on the SD card. And you can run through, you can see there are some of the images. Um, let's pick Earhart because it's pretty. So you click, uh, hit the 1 or 2 to indicate what drive you want it to go into. It comes over on the side here. And... Uh, now I hit escape, go to 9 to boot, and here we go, and uh, it's booting right up. Uh, you can see that the little, the little remote unit um, has drive activity light. Uh, green is read, uh, red is write, I believe. I'm not positive, but I've seen red come on a few times, it stands to reason. But anyway, um, that shows you what's going on. You can also see the access on the card. And there is the screen, so you can see the game is loading. And there we go. Uh, Earhart. Such a lovely game. And um, back to loading. There we go. Okay. So, let me reboot, and I'll jump back to... Uh, hit M and jump to the menu. Okay, back to the menu. Let's try um, a, a two-disc game. A game that requires uh, disc switching. So you hit uh, key one to move uh, the disk over into the into the virtual drive, move down, and then I hit disk one again. So now we've got two single uh, disk images in the drive one queue, and right now uh, disk one is active. So I'll go ahead and accept that. Um, I'll boot. Here we go. So now we boot up, and there's a nice crack screen. Uh, the game loads. Come in, data soft. One of my favorite games, actually, uh, for the Apple II. Uh, probably my favorite Apple II game ever. I, st I played this in '84, I guess, the first time on my 2C. Anyway, uh, so here we go. I got the logo. A little horse comes running. Oh, I forgot about the sword. And then here comes the horse guy. So hit a key. See drive access goes. It says, "Oh, flip disk and press any key." So, you tap the Drive 1 button once, you get a flash, indicates you switched, now you hit a key, and boom, you have successfully moved to the next disc in the queue, which was disc 2. You can have a whole bunch of discs in it, and it just rotates around, uh, it loops back when you, when you keep going through the list, so, um, and there you go. Now we can, um, we can have good times playing Conan, yay! Let's see, let's reboot again. How about, oh, Elite. There we go, Elite, so we move down, boom, boom. Yes, let's do that one, Escape, Boot, and here we go. And there is Elite for the Apple II, yay. And, of course, you can just download lots of images off the net and have a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. 
Uh, like I said, it also does hard drive uh, emulation. I'm not, not actually going to do that uh, with this configuration. I've got a uh, 2GS over there that I will probably continue to use for any sort of hard disky sort of Apple II things. But anyway, good stuff, eh? Hope you guys remember Bilestone. That's a great. Uh, that's a great one. Milestone. There we go. We're booting up. Milestone. This movie is awesome. It's not a movie. This game is awesome. Uh, I remember the developer indicated once that he sold. I think he sold like a handful of um, just a, not a lot of these games. They were just all pirated. Here we go. I love the music in this game. It is brilliant. Anyway, uh, I did actually keep the Disc 2 controller um, in the system. It's in slot 1. So if I uh, reset and uh, let's see if I go ahead and do a uh, PR number one uh, to beat off of uh, slot one, you'll see it boosts right up. So that lets me actually uh, I can move images, uh, discs into images if I have any anything that I I can't find online um, or anything that's you know data that I generated. Um, the system, when you go into its menu, has a feature that lets you uh, import disk images um, from a real disk and um, uh, make new blank disk images, that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, it's pretty cool. The CFFA 3000 was a, a few recent runs of this board. Uh, you can see the first. I think the first first run was uh, 09. Uh, this year, they've uh, I think a, a few hundred units have been available. Um, people seem to jump on the list pretty quickly, so, um, you know, if you want one, though, you can take a look at the website, uh, dreher.net, dreher.net, and, um, and, uh, grab one, and very handy is the optional, uh, the optional remote unit. Uh, so yeah, there it is. It's a great unit, and, um, I'm happy to, happy to have it.